Hello, very good day all of you. Today I am going to teach you the way of calculating areas using Simpson's rule. I think you can remember that in my previous video, I taught you the way of calculating areas using trapezoidal rule. There, I mentioned there are several methods such as Simpson's rule also. Because of that, Today I am going to teach you the way of calculating areas using Simpson's rule. But you have to remember Simpson's rule is more accurate than trapezoidal rule. You will realize the thing after going through this video fully. Here like the previous video, here also I am going to calculate the area beneath this curved boundary. Since this is a curved boundary, we can't use simple mathematical equations to calculate the area underneath. That leads us to use derived equation. Such a derived equation is the Simpson's rule. First of all, I have to divide the area beneath into several strips. This is one strip. Here, in the Simpson's rule, we have to divide this area into even number of strips. Here you can see there are 8 strips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 strips and that is an even number. And also, you have to connect these connection points of curved line and the ordinate. This is an ordinate. Actually, you can name this as an offset also. The theory is we are going to convert this curved shape into a straight line polygon area enclosure. That is the theory. Here you can see I have connected each and every point and I have shared the area to be calculated. But you have to remember, even number of strips must be available. To derive a common equation, I have converted this into 2n plus 1 number of strips. Here you can see strip number is 2n plus 1, that is a even number of strips. And the final outcome would be like that. You can see this is O1 and this is O2. 2n plus 1 and the similar distance between two ordinates is d that is a d distance ordinate to make a very clear explanation here i have extracted the area between ordinate o1 and ordinate o3 separately here you can see ordinate o1 and ordinate o3 you can see the distance between two ordinates is d and here i am going to calculate the area contained between ordinate o1 and o3 that is the sum of area a b c f e d a a b c f e d a that is the area of this trapezoid And also, we have to add the area of this circumscribed parallelogram. That is B, G, F, C, B. Finally, you can derive the equation like this. The area of the trapezoid is given by this equation. That is a common equation. Half into the sum of two parallel legs of the trapezoid into the distance between those parallel legs actually the perpendicular distance and when we are calculating the area of the circumscribing parallelogram we have to use this equation and making it simplify finally we can come to this common equation that is d divided by 3 into o1 plus 4 o2 plus o3 
O1 is the first ordinate, O2 is second ordinate and O3 is the final ordinate while D being the distance between two ordinates. Then I am going to use this equation and I am going to derive a common equation suitable for any area with even number of strips. First of all, I am going to calculate the area between ordinate O1 and ordinate O3. That is D divided by T into O1 plus 4O2 plus O3. Then I have calculated first half. Then I am going to calculate the area enclosed between ordinates O3 and O5. That is D divided by 3 into O3 plus 4O4 plus O5. Then I have to go to the final area enclosure. That would be calculated like this. That is the area enclosed between ordinate 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. It would be d divided by 3 into o 2n minus 1 plus 4 o 2n plus o 2n plus 1. That would be the final answer. And I have to use those calculations, actually use those derivations to produce my final equation. That would be the total area. And that is like this. Here O1 is the first ordinate. O2n plus 1 is the final ordinate. And 2 into these are the ordinates with odd numbers. O3 is the third ordinate, is the fifth ordinate and there can be seventh ordinate like that. And 4 into these are the ordinates with the even number. This can be second ordinate, fourth ordinate, sixth ordinate, eighth ordinate and like that. But you have to remember, if we are using one ordinate once, we can't use it again. I will describe that in my example calculation. But you have to remember, even number of strips must be provided. Then I am going to provide you an example calculation. According to the field data, the area enclosed by a survey line, a curved boundary and two n ordinates are mentioned below. To make you further clear, I am going to extract it again and you can see it is having two sets. It means it is having two sets of two different strip distances. This enclosure is having the strip distance of 20 meter and next one is having the strip distance of 30 meter. Then I am going to calculate it. Here you can see it again. This is the first half, this is the second half. Then it is very clear that you have to use the Simpson's rule twice. That is very easy thing. Here area within the chain range 0 to 80 meter. That is 4 intervals with the strip distance of 20 meter. That would be like that. 20 is the distance between two ordinates. That must be divided by 3. 11.25. That is the first ordinate, 10.54, that is the last ordinate. This is the third ordinate and this is the odd number of ordinate. Two times odd number of ordinate. You are, you can't use this again. Actually, this is the fifth number of ordinate. You will think you have to use it here, but that is utterly wrong. The reason is you have used this once. If you are using this once, you can never ever use it again. And there is another part, 4 into even number of ordinate. 4 into the ordinates having the even number. This is the second ordinate and this is the fourth ordinate that is here. The final answer is 1168.6 square meter. We are giving it in the square meter since our measurement is in the meter. Using that, we can calculate the area between the range of 80 to 200. That is also 4 intervals. The one and only difference is 
Chinese distance is 30 meter. You can see first ordinate, last ordinate, this is the third ordinate, this is the second ordinate and this is the fourth ordinate. And the final answer is 2013.6 square meter. Then you have to sum these together and you can get the final answer that is 3182.2 square meter. And this is the Simpsons rule. If you have followed my previous video, you are having a good idea about the trapezoid rule. And now you are having a very good idea of the Simpsons rule also. Here also, I am going to give you a homework. Here, I am asking you to calculate this area. Here, it is clear that this is having three parts. First part is the area having the strip distance of 20 meter. Second one, the strip distance has become 40 meter. Final one, strip distance is 10 meter. You have to calculate and you have to let me know. If you are having any issue while you are calculating this one, don't be hesitate to make me aware. You can send me a Facebook message or you can make your issue as a comment of my YouTube video. I will do my best to help you to get them solved. That is okay. That is the objective of mine. That is why I am uploading these type of videos. I think you got the thing clearly which was described by me today. If you are having any issue, make me aware please. And also, if you want me to prepare further videos like this, please make me aware. Then I can prepare those videos and I can upload and I can publish them on behalf of the enhancements of your knowledge. Then we shall meet with another video as soon as possible. Keep connected with my YouTube channel. I am Madhujit Sagar. Cheers. Have a nice day. If you are a newcomer to my YouTube channel, just type Madhusagar in YouTube, then you will find my channel. Then get inside and subscribe. Pressing bell icon will make you notify about my each and every latest updates. You can have so many videos under various playlists in my multidisciplinary YouTube channel. So get in touch. I will do my best to make you rich in knowledge.